Oh, you look so pretty. Okay, you made it very well. Okay, thank you. Hi, this is Mrs. Yoon from JR Studio. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to draw and paint uh, flowers. Okay, I paint a lot of flowers once, long time ago. I still do that uh, once in a while. So this is uh, my watercolor sketchbook. So I'm gonna show you, okay? Yeah, I have a lot of different types of sketchbooks. All right, this is actually me, long time ago. I start off with my self-portrait painting with watercolor and uh, I paint this uh, uh, flower and the rose, roses, and I forgot the name of the flowers. Datura. This is a tulip. I started with one tulip and then I took out some petals and then add another one. It was from one tulip. And this is a cherry blossom. This is a daffodil. Uh, I haven't finished that one. And this one I made it into still life watercolor. And this is a white uh, peony. And uh, this one is a iris. I made a rose and then I paint the background kind of funny way and see how it look. And this is uh, the pond, right? Uh, with a lily pad, lotus, yellow lotus, okay, water lily. Kala Lily. These are all watercolor, okay? And then again, I um, I made a setup and then I paint the watercolor there. Okay, one day I went to orchard, uh, got some uh, peach with a branch on it. And then one day I really wanna paint the dragonfly. Uh, so actually came into my garage one day and then I caught it in the jar and then I painted it and I let it go, okay? Cause that's why it has a lot of details. And then later I will show you um, maybe how to draw dragonfly. And also I have a, another big painting that I painted with a bunch of dragonflies there. And the one day I went to the beach and uh, I caught a glasshopper uh and then with the morning glory so i painted like that this is when when i went to the hawaii and painted it so um sometimes when i get bored uh, i come up with a little creative way like that and this one i haven't finished yet so today i'm gonna show you on my next page um i got some pictures uh, from magazine i think this is another Peony flowers, I, I love it. And they also have some roses on the back. So I'm gonna start painting that, okay? So first, what you need, uh, you need a cup of water for paint, and then of course, watercolor set, okay? And some brushes, and uh, I got some ruler, and pencil, and the uh, Pencil and eraser, okay? I don't get the thick pencil because uh, pencil lead kind of smudges a, a white paper, so I usually get a mechanical drawing pencil. It's very handy, so I use it all the time, okay? So first of all, I'm gonna move it just a little bit and start drawing that, but I'm not using, as you see the all my pages here, I'm kind of, you know, I am making a little frame and then paint it inside. So it looks nicer and also saves some time too, okay? You don't have to do all the pages, right? So in order to do that, I'm gonna get a um, ruler. Probably the triangle ruler is very handy because you can put it like that, 90 degrees. Now I'm going to use uh, tapes around the lines and uh, usually I fold the edges and then put it on my hand 
get some oils from my hand and make it less stickier. Yeah, you can try that too. Now I'm gonna go ahead and draw circular shapes of the flower. As you know, the peony has a lot of petals, layers, layers of petals inside of flowers. So go ahead and draw inside of flower. I want to add some roses around them, like a photo. And I want to test the paint uh, using watercolor and uh, make. Adding a water make it light. In watercolor, we don't use white normally. So you put the uh, color and then you add a water to that, make it thin down like that. Okay, keep uh, adding, I mean, water and thin down like that. Okay, and sometimes uh, you put the water first and uh, let the paint bleed into that. Uh, and also use a brush split it and then put some detail lines adding a water make it thinner and make it lighter color it's good to test it out on a separate paper and you paint a thicker paint and then keep adding a water to that see how much it thin down and make it color lighter these uh, roses has a, a little darker colors around inside the inner side of the roses are a lot darker because of the shade and also the color now i'm going to use a small round brush and uh, paint all the detail areas Okay, let's uh, finishing up with the details and um, after details, I'm going to take a um, tape off and there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video and you can try that. Thank you.